Okay, today we're going to talk about Fargate versus Lambda for serverless containers. So I think um, there are a few questions you might get on the exam where um, you will be presented with options that uh, offer both uh, Lambda or Fargate. And you need to know, okay, which is the right one for this situation? And actually it can be quite confusing because they have similar properties. Um, they both can use Docker containers. They both uh, are completely serverless. You don't have an operating system to manage. So when do you use Lambda? When do you use Fargate? We'll cover that here. The number one thing you need to remember uh, more than anything else we're in the exam when we're talking about this topic is that Lambda has a maximum of a 15 minute runtime. Most of the times, if you get a question on this in the exam, it's going to relate to that maximum 15 minute runtime. So that's the number one most important thing to remember. If you don't remember anything else from this session, as long as you remember that, you'll probably be okay. But let's talk in more detail anyway. So you can obviously provision Lambda from Docker images, just like you can with ECS. You can also just use a, a simple zip file or directly put the code within Lambda even. Uh, the important thing to think about when you're thinking about Lambda is that it is event driven. So there's some sort of trigger, uh, might be an AWS event, so a file getting uploaded to an S3 bucket. Um, it could be someone clicking on something and triggering an API call via AWS API gateway, um, but there will be something that occurs. Quite often when we're building Lambda functions, we're actually just using Lambda as like a glue wrapper. So let's say something gets uploaded to an S3 bucket and then we need to perform some other action. Lambda is an easy way to do that. And actually in many cases, you might use both uh, Fargate plus Lambda because you use Lambda for those small little glue pieces and then you use ECS for your main uh, service code. Uh, so ECS, what's the difference from Fargate? Um, it has an unlimited runtime. That's the number one most important difference to remember. Um, but the other things to think about are that uh, these are long lived services and they are responding to requests themselves. So you might uh, also have something that is event driven from within ECS, but the listener will exist within the ECS service rather than you know something like a Lambda URL or an API gateway, which listens for the incoming HTTP request and then essentially translates that to a Lambda invoke. Um, you can, of course, uh, still do actions on, for example, you know, streaming from Kinesis, um, those sort of actions that you can do within Lambda, you can do that within ECS. So there's no clear right answer there. It's whatever is most suitable for your development. Here's a summary of what we discussed. As I say, number one thing to remember, maximum 15 minute runtime for Lambda. Until next time, enjoy the cloud.